Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News, where you're here for the review of Little Inferno, which is a cool little game that I originally discovered on the Wii U, but now it's out on the Nintendo Switch. So that's going to be very interesting to say the least about uh, what this game is all about. And um, I did enjoy my time with the game. I played it from start to end, so it's all completed, and I've got a bit of a good picture of what this game is about. So let's jump straight into the review. Lunar Inferno is is a pretty cool game, actually. I, I really like how it's all packaged together. I love the animation. I love the intro sort of song that they have. And it's a pretty simple game, but it's a little tricky because the whole the whole idea is to get this, this toy called Little Inferno Entertainment Pack or something. And you sort of burn things in, in a chimney and the world is very cold outside and supposed to keep you warm in your house. And there's all sorts of combinations that you can do. Combos to get you um, stamps that can help deliver packages to your door quicker uh, for you to burn. And you can get money out of the things that you burn in the chimney, in the little inferno that you have. Um, there's all sorts of things from little cats to toys to blocks to... Um, to some outrageous sort of items that you can get, fire extinguishers and all sorts of little items that I thought was interesting. And you have a lot of fun trying to discover what the combos are on the list and also generally just, you know, putting things together and see what happens. You know, this is probably the safest game to try to burn things without actually doing it in real life. And that was the thing that I really enjoyed was just burning things in, in the little inferno. just testing out what what you could do and 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 see and the little letters that you get from um, other characters in the game is interesting too um, you help them out a little bit here and there uh, the storyline itself is pretty interesting it's one of those storylines that which i'm not going to spoil really anything for you but it is a storyline where i feel like there is some it's it's a lot more deep thinking than it than it looks on the outside so, and I, I enjoyed that, especially when it gets to the to the climax of the game towards the end. And the ending itself is, is interesting. So, that, that, that should keep you motivated to get through the, the whole combo list of 100 or so there. And burning things and seeing what's out there in this game. Because it is a very enjoyable game overall. The graphics is great. Um, the effects is really nice. Um... You can't play it with the Pro Controller for the Nintendo Switch, which is, which is a little annoying, and you use one of the right Joy-Con as sort of like a Wii remote. It works most of the time, but I kind of struggle to relax on a chair or lying down on a lounge playing with it, because you keep having to move the wand around in the Joy-Con, and it starts to get a little bit annoying. So I, th I think it, it's best played um, probably on the handheld touchscreen. I think that's the way to do it. So that's... You know, originally from the Wii U, I guess the Wii U kind of suits a little better in that regard, possibly. But it still works just as fine for the Nintendo Switch version. So, that's all I've got to say. Let's get back to the Ninja News room and see what final score I've given it. So, Little Inferno, what do I give it out of 10? What do I think about the game? Hmm, I think I'm going to give it an 8.5. I I think it's a great game. I've already played it before on the Wii U quite a bit. So I've already had a fair bit of experience of the game. There is nothing added to this game for the Nintendo Switch. No additional features that I can see or anything. It looks like it's a straight old port from an old console to a newer one. So, but 8.5 is great. I think it's a really good game for its price. I think it's, it's, it's good. And I found it quite enjoyable. I think it was a good... It's a good game. You should go and grab it after you spend all your money after Christmas during this uh, review time period that I'm reviewing it now. So, that's it for Little Inferno's review, and I shall see you later on.